Hello there, welcome to Play Tennis Practice Yoga. My name is Margaret Bannon, and today we're going to be working on a foam roller technique, a myofascial release technique for the hamstrings inspired by a teacher training that I'm taking yoga for athletes with Tiffany Cruikshank. So with that said, we're gonna use our foam roller and we're gonna start about midway beneath the hamstrings. And then I'm gonna bring my hands behind me. I could be lower down on my forearms or on my elbows. And the key here is to lift the feet and you're gonna move the legs in and out. Now, what you wanna do is make sure that you're not sliding the legs across the foam roller, but rather that you're grabbing that skin, you're moving in and out and you're using little to no muscular effort. So feel the legs heavy here as you go in and out. And you'll do this for a while. It might not feel like a lot, it is subtle which can also be nice because other forms of foam roller can be quite the opposite. And then after a bit, you're gonna take that foam roller and go up more, so not at behind the knee, but um, just above that so that you're getting a little lower down on the hamstring, same thing. Adjust yourself with your arms, let the legs be heavy and allow the legs to move in and out. So these techniques are really nice, especially after tennis practice as recovery to minimize that muscle soreness that we might get after practice or after playing a long match. And the good thing with these techniques is that you don't have to take long, maybe 30 to 60 seconds in total, or maybe you take that amount of time in each place that we're exploring today. And then I'm gonna pause one more time. I'm gonna come up as high as I can without lifting my pelvis off the ground. So I'm as high as I can go. Again, I'm leaning back with my arms, my hands. I'm allowing my legs to be heavy. My feet are lifted. And again, I'm allowing the legs to move side to side, exploring the shearing technique. Of course, you're breathing. Just noticing what it feels like. How does this feel different higher up along the back of the thigh than when we were at the midpoint or lower down? Again, keep reminding yourself to allow the legs to be heavy. And then after you've been with that movement for a while, take a moment to rest and breathe. Now, the nice thing about the foam roller is that it doubles as a yoga bolster so that you can place that behind the knees just for a moment and Lie back, breathe and relax. Maybe felt that you were doing some work there for the arms, the upper body. Feel heavy. And then after you've allowed yourself to relax and breathe, <laughs> you can move on to the rest of your day or perhaps to other parts of your practice. If you enjoyed this practice, please subscribe to my channel, Yoga for Tennis Tuesdays. I release videos every Tuesday. Happy practicing in the meantime.